SAC is the, the typical cell for man. So quite a very small cell because a cell is a 2 meters 60 by 2 meters 60. But inside, usually they put 15 to 20 men. And they were sitting down all along the wall, back against the wall, shackles in the neck, in the arms. And they freed them once a day. It was just in order to permit them to go outside, to visit themselves. But also, most of the time, they lived inside, in so bad sanitation conditions, that the first plague epidemic that ravaged the entire island of Gore in 1779 took place from a house like this, of because they are something like 28 slave houses in this small island. Next is the, the former cell reserved for kids, children from six years old until 17. Also a very small cell with this corridor leading to the bottom. And the children usually only down on the floor like uh, uh, fishes on sardine boxes. And we have noticed that inside corresponds to the highest death rate. So the next uh, corresponds to the former cell reserved for the young girls. Particularly for virgins, because they separate women with young girls. And the thing comes from the African custom. During the slave trade, they reserved specifically a standing races for virgin girls. But also virgin girls, finally, were more primitive than the other slaves, of because they were very, very expensive. And uh, for example, they don't have uh, to go outside to clean themselves. Uh, so uh, that's why, uh, so in the front of the door, one can see today a big stone will show the former place uh, reserved for the toilet. But also for that time, it was a kind of privilege. And the next uh, corresponds to the former cell reserved for temporarily and feet just for men under 60 kg. And a 60 kg corresponds to the minimum weight required for a man. That is why for most of them who don't reach 60 kg, usually they put, put them inside the cell in order to fit them like geese. And they fit them with a kind of beans, so called particularly in Senegal, Nyebe. But after three months, and uh, three months corresponds to the duration of the stay for slaves, uh, just of because uh, it was a time taken by boats uh, to come from Europe to Senegal. If they don't reach 60 kg, they didn't go to America. So they sold them locally in auction. And they stay in Gore Island as domestic slaves or in Sarwis of, Sen uh, of Senegal. And Sarwis was a former capital of Senegal located on the northern part of the country. So uh, what you see is uh, located under the stairs uh, and it was where the rebellious slaves was kept. And also uh, they don't take care about uh, how the, the number of slaves that they could put inside at the same time. The problem for the guards was no, was exactly how to shut the door after the captives. Of because they considered captives not as human beings, but as a simple merchandise. And it's the door of no return. So if you look at the picture, so the big hope is that uh, the door of no return corresponds to the uh, liberties. But uh, for the slaves, uh, it was a starting point of uh, the voyage without return. Of because after the door, and uh, when you go uh, through uh, the corridor, before uh, going out, the door of no return. 
So this is exactly what you can see. And the two cells correspond to the waiting room for the slaves. It was where the slaves was kept before the departure. But now the door of no return. Why the door of no return? It was just of because when a slave step out from this door, from the slave, it seems bye bye Africa. Of because after the door was a kind of wooden bridge. And usually they use a wooden bridge just in order to catch small canoes from the bridge because of rocks, you see, to go to the big ships was far away. But also, the slaves, once they go, they change them from their uncles, two by two. And in the middle of the chain was attached a very big iron bowl, about 10 kilograms, 300 grams. And that is why, when a slave attempts to escape by jumping, for example, he can go far away, or because he died by diving, or beaten by the guards, or eaten by the sharks due to the people who were sick or agonizing were thrown into the sea. The rocks. And uh, upstairs uh, uh, was where the traders was living. But now the big question is uh, how those people who need a slave trade could live upstairs uh, which was happening downstairs. And you can see the difference between up and down. But uh, also today, the slave house is a place of uh, reconciliation. And that's why we welcome uh, uh, visitors coming from everywhere in the world. Without uh, separation, it's black and white. Of, uh, because we uh, don't see uh, skin color. It's uh, just a place of uh, reconciliation just in order to build together a new world and also we welcome children just of because in Senegal the slave trade and slavery is a part of our school children curriculum so that's why it is today an obligation for teachers to bring their kids to the house of slaves. So the problem is now how to welcome all the kids coming uh, from everywhere in the country. It's a big challenge. So per day we welcome around 1,000 children at the same time. And we suppose also to welcome visitors coming from everywhere in the world. And also we welcome head of states in Senegal. So because they use usually uh, uh, the House of Slaves and Gore Island to address their recommendation to the world. This is the President Obama. It was the last year. June 27th, and also the head of state of Senegal. So President Obama, the family, the First Lady, and uh, uh, Augustin Senghor, which is the mayor of uh, Gore Island, and his wife. So Augustin Senghor is also the president of the Federation of uh, Soccer, Soccer Food, of uh, Soccer of uh, Senegal. A uh, very young man. So, also, we, the slave house is a place of reconciliation among people. But uh, the thing is uh, to forgive, but not to forget. Never forget. And uh, also, I use this uh, picture just uh, to uh, say that uh, 
we have to fight for the liberties. And this is an expression of uh, a beautiful world with equality, peace, and reconciliation. And also, I would like to quote President Abraham Lincoln in giving freedom to the slaves, we assure freedom to the free.